So like you ended up like placing where? Uh, well, I can't really remember, cause like bad memories. Just like delete, right? Delete. Yeah, delete. delete. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I'm sure that, like, by now you have, like, opened up a little bit. Yeah. To, like, more people, be more sociable, things like that. Mm. Like, how does that, like, how has that, like, worked out for you? I would say, like, because, uh, from, uh, by talking to others mm. and letting others, uh, come into my world, it's, like, uh, sort of, like, getting opinions from them. Mm. And it's, like, because... If I, if I'm the only one talking to myself and like, I only hear my own thoughts, then it's like, I wouldn't change. Right? Yeah. I would still be the same me, like the person who doesn't believe in himself mm. and always think that he's a disappointment of failure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So from there, I get like people's opinions and thoughts. And it's like, maybe this is, it's like, I always say, uh, like, like, wh like what you said, it's like, they sort of like give you like the positive vibes. Mm. So, mm. What I learned from you is like to believe my, to believe in myself and like uh, I keep reminding myself like to believe in myself, to believe in myself. Mm. Yeah, and I think like uh, the way you train me as well, mm. like you, I'm not sure whether you do it on purpose or what, lah, but you make me feel like uh, I can do things again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like I, like I feel like it's always good as a, like sort of like a mentor figure, right, to be... Mm encouraging yeah uh but it's also important to not be overly encouraging in such a way that you're not objective about your whatever they're doing uh, like training or whatever you know if mm. i just keep telling you that, that you can but at the back of my mind i know that you can't that is not fair to you as well right yeah. it is on me to to like tell you that like, okay i yeah. just think maybe you're not strong enough to do this but at the yeah. same time try to bring it across to you in the nicest way possible uh, like so to speak yeah. so that it doesn't destroy your you know yeah. Like the mental aspect of, of it, uh, yeah. Yeah, so by opening up, I feel like I receive a lot of opinion and thoughts. Then it's like a lot of people like keep pushing me on all the time. Yeah. It's about the Siang Sing, right? Yeah, it's about, all about the Siang Sing. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know if like you guys know, but he has this like uh, on his chop bucket. Uh, this is Siang yeah. Sing there. Yeah, I, like, I guess it's, a, it's just a friendly reminder to himself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So okay, so we 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 move on from this gloomy ass topic, right? Uh, into something a little bit more, a little bit happier. So what are some of the the like the key key uh moments in your climbing life where, aside from your bronze medal win, right, that really like left an impact on your mind? It can be anywhere. It can be competition wins. It can be in the gym. It can be anywhere. But key instances that you remember that really affect you every day when you climb, like things like that, you know? Like, yeah, it can be wins, it can be wins. Mm, I would say like the most memorable one or like the golden moment is like in 2017 in uh, Innsbruck World Youth Championship. Mm. I didn't expect myself to like do that well. Mm. And when I say do that well, it's like ranked 10 in the world for Boulder in mm. Youth A. So it's like, I was like, when I receive when I saw the result, I was like, wait, I'm number 10. It's like... Top 10 in the world, Top right? 10 in the world. Yeah, yeah. so it's like... Uh, like, sort of, like, bring some hope, lah. Like. Mm. It's some validation uh, for your efforts, like, right? Yeah. Yep. So it's like... Then, also, uh, when I went to World Youth Championship in 2017, mm. I had the mindset of uh, getting a spot for Youth Olympics. Mm. Yeah, then, so I, I managed to compete in many like, see a lot of rounds there. Yep. So that I was in, uh, I competed in all three categories, mm. and I went for the Boulder semifinals as well. Okay. So that's four, four rounds and, and I've yet, include the one for combine. Okay. Cause I managed to, be like within the top 20 mm. for combined because I joined three so it's like I 
was in the top twenty, so I was put into another round for the select uh mm. to get our spots. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But um, I didn't do that well to get a Youth Olympic spot at that time. Yeah. Oh wait, so you did so you didn't go lah? As in like, I didn't get the Youth Olympic spot from Youth uh World Youth Championship there. Yeah. But you got it through other means, ah. Yeah. Like? Uh from what I know is because like uh the quota for Team USA is uh already at their max. Okay. So they had to drop two athletes or one male athlete. Okay. And I was like one placing away from Then you got pushed in. Uh? Yeah, so I got bumped up. Oh yeah. then how was your experience at the Olympics? Oh I thought like it was like uh manageable. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then when I arrived uh Argentina I I trained very hard la. like mm. I I remember at that time I put a lot of expectations and hope to mm. myself. Mm. Even during training. Yep. So it's like uh at times like that right I can like even when I fall or even when I fall off like maybe a seven C or seven B mm. or I top the route but when I come down and sometimes I still feel like I will like have tears uh, cause I feel that like I don't didn't put it enough effort and like mm. I feel that this still isn't isn't enough. Yeah. Like it, it isn't at a standard where you like you know that you should be at la, right? Yeah. I felt like I had to do more. Mm. It was like I wasn't satisfied with my own performance even in, in training, yeah. So all the way from your training and then as it led up to the Youth Olympics, the mm. entire way you were kind of like not satisfied with yourself all the way until yeah. you competed. Yeah. And then during the, the event itself, how how did it play out? During comp day itself, I think like, uh, I I composed myself. Mm. Uh, I had my coach Hasli there at the time. Mm. So he sort of like give me prep talks inside the bus. Mm. And... Because we had to go through like uh, speed, boulder and then lead. Mm. So it's, and it's also like my first time doing all three in one day. Mm. So it's, uh, I've never felt that tired before. <laughs> <laughs> like, until then, like from when I started climbing until then, it's like my first time feeling so like exhausted. Like, it's yep. When I was the last category for lead, because we always have like this one hour, one hour and mm. 30 minutes break. Mm. And it, like in between events? Yeah. Okay. Then after that, I was like, I'm very tired. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how am I going to compete for lead. Mm. Then, yeah. Uh, but is it because it's like, like a sun or whatever? Mm, the sun came, came up from like, oh, the sun was sh- like shining very brightly onto the warm up wall. Oh, okay, so like, okay. So wow. like drain my Shake. energy also. Shake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I think that's when I lose my, so like my, mind. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's like my men, mental, me, my mentality isn't there anymore because I'm like trying to fight the fatigue that mm. I'm receiving there. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. But, um, for I would say that I did pretty well for speed and also boulder, mm. but could have done better for boulder lah. Yep. Then uh, I remember falling off lead due to like my foot slip. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, that like like that must be quite shattering lah, right? Yeah. Like I was hoping like that I c- could have made finals there. Mm. At least I have another chance to like prove myself. Mm. Yeah. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't lah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So like you ended up like placing where? Uh. I can't really remember because it's like bad memories just like delete right delete yeah delete, delete. <laughs> yeah, although it's like not because uh, Youth Olympic isn't I mean like sports climbing being in the Olympic is like not something everyone can go yep it's like people now are still fighting for sports to compete in 2021 mm. so it's like uh, yeah I've I've like I had the opportunity to do my best there, but like, I didn't. So it's like, 
I don't feel like it's a uh, it's good, a little bit of a regret good memory right? for me. Yeah. Hmm, then are you looking forward to 2024? Do you plan to compete or you think by then it's just like climbing take a sideline already? Mm, I would I think everything's still like unsure. Yep. I'm not sure yet because like, like I said I want to uh, become a fighter pilot in Air Force but that means I will have to sign on. Yep. And that means I'm, no time right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. So 2024 but I hope that as long as I'm still climbing and competing, I would like do my best uh, and to train to qualify for 2024. Cause 2024 they will split uh speed aside. Yep. They'll take speed away. Yep. And just like lead and boulder. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh along the same lines, right? Uh by 2024, like you say that you may or may not see yourself mm. gunning for a spot in the Paris Olympics, right? Then, in that case, uh, where, what is the role that climbing plays in your life now? What was the role they played in your life when you started? And how has it changed and why? I think yeah. when I started climbing, I, I felt that climbing taught me a lot about being disciplined mm. and also like, uh, working hard for what you want then and also like to trust the process as long as you're like uh, when you know you want something and you know how you are going to get to that then you trust the process yep. you don't have doubts like are you going to get it or are you not just yep. like focus on the process and uh, trust mm. yeah then also climbing made me very mature. Mm. Yeah, sort of like I see like what I want. Cause like I said, like you know what's your goal, so you work towards it. Yep. So then like you have no time for like bullshit, all right? Yeah, so it's like, and I apply that to my current self mm. and I ask myself what I want mm. and it is to become a pilot in the future. Mm. So I have to give up uh, climbing. Yep. But when I say give up climbing, it's like not like, stop climbing but it's just like stop competing yep. I'll, I'll always climb because I find myself uh, happy or like at least I'm carefree yep. whenever I climb mm, yeah. mm, mm. so it's safe to say that like like gradually you see climbing sort of like taking more of a passive a uh, role in your life rather than an mm. active one, right? Because like at the start you were, like you were chasing, like you were chasing like achievement. Yeah. But as you go older, then it kind of mellows down into something that is yeah. like more like a comfort zone kind of thing, right? Yeah, and also it's like what climbing taught me is also like applied to my daily life. It's yep. not just mm. like uh or it's only during climbing I work hard and be disciplined. Yep. With myself. Yep. So like, I bring that across into climbing, uh, into studies. Mm. Sorry. Mm. So, and also like my goals in the future. At the same time, the disappointments that climbing brings will also spill over to your... Yeah, it will, it will definitely bring like thoughts on like having doubts with yourself. Like if you can't even do this well, like what yeah. do you think you can do that well, achieve right? yeah, in another sort yeah. of like aspect? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it's quite important to like compartmentalize your... Like, yeah. just, like just because you don't do well in like flying, that doesn't mean you can't do well in climbing. And like yeah, I, I have to really things, like right? split them and like yeah. separate them. Like it is really like, like the bridge that, uh, it's like what bridges the two expectations, right? It's really emotions, right? Yeah. So it is, it's about, it's about how well can you control your emotions, yeah. which will manage your expectations, right? And then after that, like that's how you optimize for performance, right? In like all mm. aspects, right? Mm. Yeah. So looking at the youths now, do you see yourself in the youth athletes now or do you see them like a different breed of like athletes and like what is like what are some things that you feel like you will tell them, you know? I think I, I see them as a different breed already. Oh really? Yeah, I really like don't feel like I'm a youth anymore. No, as in like the yeah, I'm like talking about the youth now, like the thirteen year old, fourteen year old that like that kind, right? Oh like do you see yourself when you were thirteen year old, fourteen year old in oh. them now? No. Not at all. Yeah. Because of like the type of support they get from their parents. It's, like, it, it's, it's, too, it's too spoon fed, is it? Yeah, I felt that like most of them who are like 
even in the national team, they are not like, uh, sort of like, they are not climbing because they want to last. Like, they are like, sort of like, their parents bring them to the gym and then that's where their interest starts. So I wouldn't say like it's a uh, passion or interest that they find for themselves. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. So and then like that, you say, it's sort of like spoon feed. Mm, 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 yeah. And then that will kind of develop into a different type of uh, drive and passion for the sport, right? Like as you, as you yeah. get better and things like that. Yeah, because what I hope is that like it's not, I hope that they are not like doing this sport now because like, is what their parents taught them, like, or brought brought to them mm. to the climbing gym, and then, like, that's where they started, like. Mm. I think it's better for, like, it would be better if, like, they are, like, they found this passion themselves. Yep, yep, so, for like, sure, for sure. They want it themselves. It's yep. not like they are given that thing, and then, like, they will lose the interest, mm. like, sometime later. Mm. Hope, I hope that they will, like, carry on this passion yep. to climb. Yeah. Mm. So, like, for the... Okay, like, this is just my opinion. It can be quite controversial, uh, but, I mean, like, we are here to talk about, about stuff. So, I feel like, just now we talk about the, like, the added support that mm. is, like, pumped into the sport. Especially, now, with regards to youth development, right? Mm. Uh, I know that NYSI and uh, Sports School or something, they're working together. Yeah to like bring in some other athletes from different sports and try to develop de- them as climbers. But at the same time, I feel like because there's so much support being pumped into the youth, right? At this point of time, I feel like the national team uh, consists, especially the youth, uh, not so much about the senior team, but for the youth, they consist of what I would say that are people who almost don't deserve to be in the team. It's like, it's quite controversial, but my philosophy is that, let's say, if I'm a youth, uh, and I'm the best, I'm I'm the best thirteen-year-old climber in Singapore, but if I cannot place internationally, I shouldn't even be in the in the in the, like in the team, mm. because it's like it's like not to say that uh, there should be no development for climbers who don't meet the cut, but more um, more than that, it's the development is not the job of the national team. The job of the national team is to groom prospective talents into like people who can actually achieve on, on the world stage. And just because you're the best in the country, that doesn't mean that you should be taken in. And now that's not even the case. Like now the case is that like, I feel like there are so many people, like for example, right, if you like if you speak climb, you know that for senior, if you don't go below six, you cannot make it. Yeah. If someone is like a 10 second speed climber, right? I feel like he shouldn't even be like, in the team. Yeah, he shouldn't be in the team because the fact of the matter is that resources are limited and it has to be allocated efficiently, right? Yeah. So uh yeah, I just feel like the youths now, if they are because they like they're young and they don't have a mind for themselves. So if they are fed with the information that let's say, oh, I'm this good and I can be in a team with you, right? Then it kind of limits their like their capacity to to drive themselves because I'm already at the top already, you know. Like yeah. so there's like there's no need to push forward. Whereas if like you say that, oh sorry, you don't make the cut right, then it's like, oh, I need to train, you know? Yeah. I, I need to train to get into the team. And then that's where you really push like push the use. Like you want them to see themselves as not just like the best in Singapore. But yeah. Like, like aim higher, um, you know? When they compare themselves like Against like, the best exactly, in, like, exactly, yeah, and like now it's like too many already, like too many of of these like youth athletes that are. If I was in the, if I was the one managing the, the team, I would just cut. And I know it's not as simple as just oh I want to cut his cut lah. Mm. You have to answer the parents things like that, yeah. But I feel like the first step forward is to be a little bit harsher on the youth now, which is uh, what I feel that groom, groom the youth of. Uh, previous times to be the athletes that they are now, yeah, it is that desire, right, to like, to like chase, you know, to like chase mm. that spot in the in the team, yeah. yeah. So it's not like filling the team with like people who let's say like if ten of them can climb seven A, mm. then doesn't mean like they are the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So it's sort of like getting like those who have really have the 
mm. capability to yeah it's a capability drive things like that right yeah it's it's not something that is very common in use and i feel that they should be given extra attention and more resources should be allocated to them right to really like groom them it's not that you allocate resource to encourage them or whatever you know it's like you really need to spot this kind of talent right because in my opinion how like how like how the progression of climbing works is that there is always a like there's always one person who's at the top and he pushes the standard everyone yeah. else is chasing this guy the moment everyone meets right that's where it slows down you know and like we are kind of facing that issue in the open scene now where everyone is around there one and then the progression slows down but like like back then right like uh in 2012 uh yeah we, i don't think you start climbing yet but like jay was the was the absolute best like he qualified first and he win every single comp that he joined for 2012 and then he was like one step ahead and then we all play chase play chase play chase until we, we meet him ready then the moment we like overtake him in terms of results right then that's where he slowed down you know that is just like a bit a bit a bit a bit yeah like people like 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 dennis or like aaron or like whoever like right yeah because the gap is so small because right? the gap is so small and there's no one to look forward to yeah so it's like it's very important to spot that spot that one guy that has the ability to take it that much further and then have the rest of the youth like chase them you know mm. yeah so yeah like, i feel like the like the national youth team as of now is not in a very good state it's not it's not in a state that it can be in yeah but i think it takes time to develop uh, yeah 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 like there's like there's almost like a change in culture in terms of the youth and their development like sure like more like more money is pumped la, but at the same time they have to fight for themselves also you know yeah